Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, at special request of one of my subscribers, I'm going to show you how to adjust the ride height on your vehicle that uses torsion bar suspension. That way, you can take this front end here and bring her on up, or you can channel your little John and get low. My name is Randy, and this is Blown Budget Garage. Alright guys, before we get started, I just want to say, please take your time, work safely, don't do anything dumb. So, let's talk tools. What tools do we need in order to get this job done? That's it. That's really it. I'm using a half inch drive ratchet, a small extension, and a three quarter inch socket. Uh, I, I could actually probably use uh, a deep well three quarter inch socket instead of the extension, but I'm lazy and I don't want to dig through my toolbox. So. First things first, let's get started. We're going to take the car, park it on a flat surface. Check. Next, we're going to put our car in park. Check. Now, because safety is of the utmost importance whenever you're working on one of your vehicles, we're going to be lifting the front end up. So let's go ahead and put our handbrake on. Just kidding, mine's not hooked up yet. But seriously, put your handbrake on. Check. It's getting hot, so take a drink of your cold drink. Check. Next, we're gonna take our jack and slide it up underneath the car. And you're gonna to wanna to get on that little, uh, that little K member right there. Put her in tight mode so she goes up and start pumping. Yeah, there she goes. What we're going to do is, in all seriousness, we're going to get the car up just high enough so that the wheels are off the ground. Because you do not want to make any adjustments to your torsion bar suspension with the wheels on the ground. So, tires are clear. Check. Now, you remember how I told you about safety? You remember. We're going to take our jack stand, and we're going to put it under the car, because we all got to die, but we don't want it to be today. This next step is pretty self-explanatory. Check. All right, guys, so we're looking at the front of the vehicle. I'm going to start on the passenger side, and all we're going to do is come up underneath here until you see this bolt. It's that simple. There's the front coming in. The bolt is right here. Now what you want to do is you want to loosen this bolt to bring the front of the car down. You want to tighten it to bring it up. And you want to do everything on the like you want to do everything the same. So however many turns you do to this side, you got to do to the driver's side. So what you want to do is get your wrench on there or your uh, your ratchet, I mean. Get you your starting point, and then I like to start with two turns. So I'll come up to a quarter click, and then I'm gonna come down a quarter turn. Come up to a quarter click, come down to a quarter turn. I'm gonna compete, I'm gonna continue to do this until I'm two full turns out, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do it to that side. All right, guys, so I did eight quarter turns, which gave me two full turns out. And then I went to the driver's side and I did the same thing. So I pulled my jack stand out of the way and now I'm gonna let my car down. Surely you can figure this one out. Now, my car is a project. It was driving until I blew up the trans. In case you're wondering, you can find that episode here. Or maybe it's over here. I don't know. Whatever. Listen, I'll show you the episode. But after you make your adjustments, what you're going to want to do is drive your car. 
because the geometry of your suspension has to resettle. If you cannot drive your, your car or your truck for whatever reason, say you're in the same position as me, what you want to do is just start bouncing the car up and down. Bounce it up and down a bunch, hop on this side, literally hop on it, get on the other side, hop on it, put her in neutral, push her forward, do it again, push her back. And then what you want to do is you want to measure. So I know what you might be thinking. Well, what are we measuring? Well, we want to make sure that the center of our fender right here is the same distance off the ground, preferably a nice level pad as the other side. Now there's really two easy ways to do this. And uh, people are gonna argue um, over which, what, what the right way is. You can go from the floor all the way up, right? I'm using my center cap so I know that the, it's center. And you're gonna bring your tape measure out until it seems to be nice and straight going up. And then you're gonna measure. I'm at 26 and a half inches. The other way, is to take your tape and put it in the center of your dust cap right here. And that way I'm, I'm 15 inches that way. So when we go to measure the other side, if we go from the floor and we're at 26 and a half inches and we go from the center of our dust cap, if we're at 15 inches, then we know that this side, the drinker side, is the same height as the driver's side. So let's go check that. All right, so now we're on the driver's side and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm looking at it right here, and I'm at 26 and 5 eighths. And then if I go here from the center, I'm actually at about, about 15 and a half. So that means that I'm gonna have to uh, adjust on the driver's side a little bit, and this is just part of it. So if you think you're gonna get it right the first time, you're probably not. Two turns might not be enough, to get your car down uh, or your truck where you would like it to be. And two turns in might not be enough to get your car or truck up. Uh, it might take you, you know, four, five, six turns, but I recommend to only do a couple turns at a time, hop on the car, drive it around if you can, and recheck it. it takes a little bit of time, but you wanna get this right. All right, so what did you do? You got your left side the same as your right side, right? You measured, you double measured, you're happy. We got everything set up. You drove around, the geometry has resettled, your ride height is now changed, you're done. You're not. Whenever you adjust the ride height using these torsion bars, you're going to affect the alignment of your tires. That's all there is to it. You might adjust, it might adjust the camber and give you positive or negative. It might adjust the caster of the wheel or it might adjust the toe in, toe out. Maybe it affected all three. If you do this, do yourself a favor, go to your uh, local uh, auto shop that does alignments, get your car aligned. I promise you that your pocketbook, you're, it's gonna be happy when you're not buying tires as often as you will if you do not do that. So yeah, there you go guys, that's how simple it is. One ratchet, one socket, a jack and some jack stands, and you made it happen. I know you did. It's that easy, guys. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. This isn't something I normally do, so I'm a little out of my comfort zone. But, uh, yeah, again, my name is Randy. This is Blow Budget Garage. Thank you so much for watching.